Hi everyone. Our next concept is AC voltmeters. In the previous video, we have seen AC differential voltmeters, DC differential voltmeters, and the generalized AC voltmeter. In this video, we are going to learn about AC voltmeters. So, as I said earlier, meter responds only for DC current. It will not respond for AC current. So, what we need to do, we should definitely convert AC signal into DC signal. Here, there are uh, some possibilities so uh, what we can measure using the meter or we can measure using the meter like uh, DC voltage VDC or we can measure average voltage V average okay suppose in the case of off wave rectifier VDC is equal to V average by 2 in the case of off wave rectifier using off wave rectifier if you are implementing an ac voltmeter then vdc value we can obtain by v average by 2 suppose in the case of full wave rectifier vdc is equal to v average both are equal that depends upon the rectifier type we are using so there are two possibilities either you can measure either vdc or v average okay so by seeing this we, there are two types of ac voltmeters one is ac voltmeter we can implement by using half wave rectifier section or ac voltmeter we can implement by using full wave rectifier section let us see individually ac voltmeter using half wave rectifier this is the circuit diagram using half wave rectifier how we can implement the ac voltmeter very 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 simple diagram if you know the simple dc voltmeter what is the simple dc voltmeter block uh, circuit diagram a resistor a multiplier resistor a multiplier resistor rs is connected in series with the meter a basic dc voltmeter is constructed by using a multiplier resistor is connected in series with the meter this is the im and rm okay here we are applying the unknown dc voltage suppose if this voltage becomes ac then we have to use a rectifying element here rectifier nothing but a diode the same has been implemented here okay nothing is there everything is quite normal but a diode is used in series with the meter every component here all the components are in series only as it is a half wave rectifier we are using a single diode okay now we have, for example we have taken the voltage input voltage as 10 volts vrms 10 volts vrms a normal compared to the uh, dc voltage here we have taken the ac voltage ac voltage generally it can be represented in terms of rms voltage or peak voltage the resistance value multiplier resistance value we have taken it as a 10 kilo ohms and diode d1 followed by a meter now let us see what is the amount of dc voltage we can have and what is the amount of average voltage we can have thereby what is the amount of rs in the case of dc voltmeter also we have calculated the formula for rs now here also in the case of ac voltmeter we will find what is the formula for rs the peak value we should know these relations before the calculation of ac voltmeters like a vdc v average and v peak we should know what is the relation between peak voltage and average voltage peak voltage and rms voltage DC voltage and average voltage like that okay so first the peak voltage in the circuit diagram it is given in terms of RMS value if you observe the circuit diagram it is given in terms of RMS voltage see 10 volts VRMS input voltage is given in VRMS now let us calculate what is the peak voltage what is the peak voltage see peak voltage VM is equal to root 2 into VRMS you may know v rms is equal to vm by root 2 you might have learned like this v rms is equal to vm by root 2 so vm is equal to root 2 into v rms what is the v rms value 10 in the given uh, problem we have taken it as 10 so root 2 into 10 is equal to 14.14 root 2 means 1.414 so it is 14.14 average value what is the relation between average value and the 
peak value v average is equal to 2 vm by pi v average is equal to 2 vm by pi for off wave rectifier it is 2 vm by pi if you are taking the full wave rectifier it is vm by pi so v average is equal to 2 vm by pi if you substitute that vm value what we have got in the previous case that is 14.14 so this is the value 9 volts <coughs> 9 volts now what is the relation between dc voltage and average voltage dc voltage and average voltage in half wave rectifier dc voltage v dc is equal to v average by 2 in the half wave rectifier if it is full wave rectifier it is equal to v average so v dc is equal to v average by 2 it is equal to 4.5 volts now what is the formula for rs <coughs> what is the formula for rs rs equal to v by im minus rm we know this formula v by im minus rm now here v becomes vdc v becomes vdc see 4.5 volts we can write it as in terms of rms like 0.45 because rms value is 10 so we can write it as 0.45 vrms now substitute this value in this rs so rs is equal to vdc by am minus rm that is equal to 0 0.45 vrms by idc minus rm this is the formula of multiplier resistor in off wave rectifier ac voltmeter now let us see the ac voltmeter using full wave rectifier full wave rectifiers there can be different two types of full wave rectifiers we can use two diodes or we can use a bridge rectifier in this diagram we are in this concept we are going to learn how a ac voltmeter is going to be constructed using a bridge rectifier see if you remove this part if you remove this particular part what a circuit looks like this is nothing but simple dc voltmeter simple dc voltmeter a multiplier resistor rs in series with the meter nothing but dc voltmeter so for this circuit we have added a rectifier element nothing but a full wave bridge rectifier okay every circuit is very easy if you just understand what is the concept behind this how a full wave rectifier is there how an off wave rectifier is there then it is very easy okay so this is the bridge rectifier bridge circuit and where four diodes are there kind four diodes are connected in four arms okay i think you know this bridge rectifier how it is acting for a complete cycle what is the difference between half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier in the half wave rectifier case only one diode is there see if it is the input if it is the input cycle like a v input and x axis we have taken time for this complete pause to peak diode d conducts there in the previous case previous half wave rectifier the diode d conducts only for the pause to peak and there is no conduction in the negative peak so diode only responds for the single peak that's why v average is equal v dc is equal to v average by 2 but in the case of full wave rectifier as we have taken the bridge rectifier two diodes that means four diodes are there two diodes are conducted for half cycle and two diodes are conducted for one more half cycle totally four diodes are used to conduct for entire cycle so definitely the output is there for both the cycles for both the peaks for this peak we have output and for this peak also we have the output so that's why vdc is equal to v average in this case vdc is equal to v average okay because diode and uh, because the entire circuit conducts for entire cycle <laughs> let us see the calculation part vm is equal to root to vrms same calculations we will do but except that vdc is equal to v average so vm is equal to root 2 into vrms root 2 into 10 that is 14.14 so v average is equal to 2 vm by pi that is equal to if you substitute this vm you will get this 9 volts until then until this point everything is common in half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier coming to this dc value 
VDC is equal to V average. Here it is for complete one cycle. In the previous case also it is completely for one cycle but V average by 2 there but now it is V average. VDC is equal to V average that is complete 9 volts. So how we can write this one 0 0.9 into VRMS because RMS value is 10. So we can write simply as 0 0.9 VRMS. Same if we are going to write it, uh, the uh, multiplier resistor value RS is equal to V by M minus RM here V becomes VDC. VDC V average both are same we can simply write VDC <coughs> so VDC by M minus RM VDC or V average both are same we can write it as 0 0.9 VRMS by IDC minus RM. So here in the bridgeway rectifier the value of DC voltage or average voltage is double the value of DC voltage in the case of halfway rectifier that is the only difference you have to observe okay this is very simple AC voltmeters concept is very very simple just if you know the basic DC voltmeter the same DC voltmeter is extended with the rectifier circuit if you are using a single diode in series that comes under halfway rectifier if you are using a bridge rectifier in series that comes under full way rectifier okay calculation part is almost similar except that DC value DC value is equal to average value in the case of full way rectifier because the circuit conducts for entire cycle but in the case of off way rectifier the DC value is equal to half of the average value because the circuit conducts only for the half of the cycle okay so this is the AC voltmeters